The shocking truth and risk of emotional eating and diabetes. Emotional eating and diabetes. Is there a link between emotional eating and diabetes? Does one lead to the other, and can you have one without the other? These are valid questions, however, you need to realize that emotional eating isn't good for you, period. This video explains why. The Mayo Clinic tells us that type 2 diabetes develops when the body becomes resistant to insulin or when the pancreas stops producing enough insulin. Insulin is produced by your pancreas and is a hormone that 1. aids the process of releasing glucose, often referred to as sugars into your cells to be converted into energy. 2. helps store glucose in your liver and muscles, and 3. regulates the body's metabolism regarding fats, proteins and carbohydrates. So, when you overeat and or don't use all the energy from the glucose released into your cells through exercise or your normal daily exertions of walking and cycling, the glucose builds up and turns to fat, which makes the pancreas work harder to continue releasing insulin. Consequently, being overweight or obese can contribute to the development of diabetes. Once you find out about the shocking truth and the risks that emotional eating poses, and its link with diabetes, don't forget to leave a comment below this video. And if you're serious about watching this and other videos on our channel, please subscribe, and kindly click the grey bell icon to be notified of future videos being uploaded to the Natural Health Guys channel. So, the day your doctor sits you down and reveals that you have pre or type 2 diabetes, that prognosis alone could certainly trigger an unhealthy binge eating episode. If you suffer with emotional eating anyway, you're increasing the risk of being diagnosed with pre-diabetes and even type 2 diabetes. Since the foods that are usually the target of an emotional eater are processed and ultra-processed foods, the consuming of convenience food, fast food, microwave food, sweets, cakes and chocolates has a dramatic imbalance in your blood sugar level. To manage diabetes, you have to learn to keep your blood sugar within a healthy range. And as healthy foods such as fresh and seasonal fruits and vegetables are not usually the first things emotional eaters reach for, it's even more critical for sufferers to learn to curb and eliminate emotional eating habits, otherwise the type 2 diabetes condition will worsen to the point that the risks of losing limbs and, ultimately, life itself, will vastly increase. Here are six key aspects of the effects of stressful, emotional eating with its link to diabetes. 1 because of lifestyle choices that include consuming unhealthy food, such as processed and ultra-processed foods, being overweight, and being inactive, there's a 1 in 3 chance of you developing pre-diabetes or full-blown type 2 diabetes. 2. Type 2 diabetes is by no means a death sentence. But it can be. 3. Millions of people live with type 2 diabetes, but what you don't know is to what extent their quality of life is compromised. 4. The so-called experts often say that a. It's possible to manage and even beat type 2 diabetes, and b. The key is monitoring and regulating your blood sugar. But this is advice that a. Comes too late for most people, as type 2 diabetes is an avoidable disease, and b. The monitoring of sugar levels is just managing your symptoms and is not getting to your root problem. 5. Too many calories, simple carbohydrates and toxic sugars are consumed, which leads to a dramatic rise in blood sugar levels. 6. As a consequence, the emotional eating cycle increases and worsens, and so the higher the chance of developing type 2 diabetes increases. Diabetic or not, the long list of health problems that emotional eating can cause are reasons enough to take immediate action to get your unhealthy emotional eating patterns under control. And here's the shocking truth and risk of emotional eating and diabetes that most people are totally unaware of, and is another reason why you must take action now. To test for pre or full blown diabetes, your local health practitioner or GP will not test your blood sugar levels until you start showing symptoms of the disease. So, take responsibility for getting yourself tested now to determine how far off you have feared from maintaining your health to give you the time to take immediate corrective action now and ultimately to help you stop your binge eating. Summary and Conclusion Emotional eating and diabetes are inextricably linked. If you've an underlying health problem that you're unaware of, any emotional and unhealthy eating can trigger the first symptoms of diabetes. 
Emotional eating doesn't necessarily trigger diabetes, but it can certainly start the process of your body beginning to struggle with its production of insulin. As the root cause of diabetes is chronic inflammation, caused by eating a typical modern-day diet of processed foods, any form of emotional eating is adding fuel to the fire. Diabetes is a gateway to a whole host of other health complications, so why would anyone want to put themselves at such risk? We hope you found this video, The Shocking Truth and Risk of Emotional Eating and Diabetes, helpful and of interest, so please feel free to share with people you think will also find this video worth watching. And don't forget to leave a comment or ask a question in the comments section below this video. To get more videos like this one, become an exclusive subscriber of this channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video. And click the grey bell icon to get notified of when the next video is uploaded. If you'd like more information about the secrets of eating disorders, check out the other videos in this series by clicking on the end screen coming up. And finally, many thanks for watching.